story of American golf embodies the American ideology that any person can achieve their dream. The American heroes who popularized the game were often underdogs, chance takers, making surprise victories over established competitors. They were average citizens who stole the game away from the British Empire and spread the love of golf to every corner of the country. Today, there are more than 18,000 golf courses in the United States and over 26 million players. In true equality, golf is one of the only sports that allows amateurs to play the same courses as the professionals. Golfers aspire for that well-placed shot that mimics an astounding achievement by a pro on the same hole. In Oakland, California, a sculptor named Mario Kyoto, renowned for his classical figurative sculpture of famous individuals and historical scenes, is an avid golfer. Motivated to keep improving his game by studying every aspect of golf, Mr. Kyoto has realized that this quest for achievement was a personal challenge that gave significance to his life. His love and interest in the evolution of the game has inspired him to develop tribute to American golf, conveying the passion, hope, and endless possibilities of the game. I originally got into golf. Uh, it was a bit later in my life than most people. The biggest inspirational part of it all was learning and reading about the history of golf. The stories, the trials and tribulations, it's really the American story, and specifically the story of American golf. Mr. Kyoto envisions a golf monument that is historical, depicting some of golf's greatest moments, paying homage to the remarkable players who have defined the game. It creates an educational experience, including the great golf course designers, the major developers of equipment, and the exceptional teachers who made the game accessible to everyone. What I am proposing is building six concentric circles that overlap each other. These circles represent a space and time that happened in American golf, starting with the golden age of golf in the early 1880s, coming all the way to present day. I've spent my entire life dedicated to creating artwork that tells the history of people who've been change makers in this world. That's what I've lived for. It's what I feel I can contribute to the world. I've had the privilege and honor to work on historical monuments, such as the tribute to jazz in New Orleans, the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, and my most recent one in over five years in development, Remember Them Champions for Humanity. Motivated to make artwork that inspires people to achieve their highest potential, Mario Kyoto designed the Remember Them Monument for the city of Oakland and California. The largest bronze monument in the western United States, Remember Them will be dedicated before a national and international audience in September of 2011. I've personally seen the impact on people with my sculpture, especially when it is depicting people that they can relate to. If you want to reach out to people, if you want people to know about a particular history, if you want people to feel inspired, you must capture them in a moment, in action, that looks like them. And people can look at it and say, yes, that really happened. That means I can really make that happen. That's what this is all about. My family's been in the business of golf for over 50 years. What Mario has done is created an environment where golfers from all over the world can come and actually witness the greatest moments of these golfers' careers. Just seeing the breadth of what he had come up with was shocking to me. I, I was just so blown away. It feels like everything is coming to life and you are a participant. You are an actual spectator in that moment. A tribute to American golf will be inspirational, reminding us of our American roots, ensuring that we never forget the modest origins, enthralling competitions, and most of all, the integrity of the game. Wherever this iconic monument resides, golfers from all over the world will come and leave with a lasting memory 
and a greater appreciation of the game.